Good morning, KJ. Why are you so sad? Usually you're so excited to talk about the stories. Why are you so down? Oh, I'm not very excited about this story. Why not? Is it a sad story? Yeah. I kind of was scared about it. Oh, why are you scared about it? Well, I kind of like talking about the last story before. In, in Acts 4. Oh, what was that about? Remember? Barnabas. And how everybody was unified. And, and they kept and they gave all to, to the poor. And, and there were no poor people. And everybody had what they needed. Well, yeah, that was good. So how can a story be so bad right after that? Oh, you know, the Bible. It doesn't sugarcoat anything. Sugarcoat? What does that mean? Oh, it's... God is pretty blunt. Blunt? My goodness. Blunt and sugar-coated. Yeah. He's pretty serious about something. What's he serious about? Lying. And, and... Lying? Yeah. And then sometimes I lie. You do? You lie? Yeah. Actually, so do I sometimes. You do? Yeah. Actually, I had... Uh, I have a story that I even lied to my mom in college just because I didn't brush my teeth. What? Yeah. What? Oh, no. Then you really wouldn't like this story. Really? W what's the story about? Oh, about Ananias. A guy named Ananias. A guy named Ananias? Yeah, and his wife. Oh, his wife too? Yeah, her name is Sapphira. Oh, Sapphira? Yeah. They, they sold land just like Martibus did. Oh, well, that's awesome. They, and they were going to give to the poor? Yeah, yeah, they were going to give. Well, how can that be bad? That's awesome. No, no, no. They decided to keep some of it for themselves. Oh, okay. But they lied to Peter and the apostles and said that all of that Money for the land was to them. Oh, I see. So what happened? Well, the Holy Spirit told Peter. And Peter said to Ananias, first, Ananias came first. Ananias went first? And so Sapphira wasn't there? No, no, she wasn't there. And, and so Ananias went and he gave him the big money and he thought, yeah, I looked good just like part of us. Yeah, everybody look at me. Oh, so he was pretty cool, pretty excited that he had all that money and he put it on the table and gave it to the disciples. Yeah. So what happened next? Oh, well, Peter knew that he saved some of it. He did? Yeah. That's the scary part. How is it scary? Peter said, oh, how can you lie to not only me, but to God? Oh, that is true. He was, he lied to God. Whoa, that's not good to do. No. Nope. What happened? Don't. What do you mean? What do you mean? Don't. Don't. He died! He died? He died like right flat on the ground? Yeah! He died! He said, Peter said, Did, this is all the money? And he said, yes. And, and Peter said, you lied to me and to God. And boom! He died! He just fell on the ground? Yeah! And then, guess what? What? What happened next? These people just came and picked him up, put him in a sheet, and carried him out and buried him on the ground. They buried him straight right out there, right away? Yeah, right away. They didn't even wait to tell everybody and have like a funeral. Whoa, that's wacko. Yeah, yeah, and then it even gets worse. How does it get worse? Well, then Sapphira came and, and she she came and, and Peter said, Is this all the money that, that you guys sold? And, and then, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Well, did, well, that was a chance for her to tell the truth. She could have said, 
Well, actually, no. We decided to keep some of it, and I'm really sorry, and I'm going to go back and go get it and give it to him. Yeah, yeah, she could have said that, but she didn't know that, that her husband died. Oh, she didn't even know. Yeah, it was even three hours later. She didn't have a cell phone. They couldn't call her. They didn't tell her. Nobody told her. Oh, well, there aren't any cell phones back then. Oh, my goodness. So what happened? What happened? Well, Peter said, is this all the money? Yeah, and then she, she told him the truth, right? No. She said, yes, it's all the money. And that's how much all the land was. Oh, no. So what did God do? Boom! What? What happened? Did she die too? She did! She died! Flat on the ground! Dunk. Oh my goodness! Everybody was so scared. And then the people that came back after burying him, and nice, they came, they saw her dead on the ground, so they picked her up in the sheet, and they carried her out, and they buried her right next to Ananias! Oh! This is crazy! It is crazy. And and what's even interesting more is that this is really a true story. Yeah! Yeah! So now I'm really scared I should never, never lie, 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 no, 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 God could kill me! Well... He, he's not going to kill you because of that. I mean, it's, it's, you never know. Well, he has the power to do everything. But what do we learn from this story? What can we learn from this story? To never lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Oh, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. We need to focus on being honest. Oh, yeah. It is a lot easier being honest. If you tell the truth, then you don't have to remember what you said that was a lie, and then you say another lie, and then you say another lie, and you say another lie. It's kind of like like the big lie on Veggie Tales. The big lie on Veggie Tales? Yeah. You ever seen that? Um, I can't remember. Well, it's a little tiny round thing from outer space, and then the person lies, and a and a little round thing gets bigger, and it gets bigger. And gets bigger, and he keeps lying to make another lie, to make the lie, to be true, and and it gets bigger, 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 bigger. And then what happens? Well, then Junior, the the guy in the story, tells the truth, and the lie gets small and goes away. So we just need to tell the truth in the first place, right? Yeah, yeah. If the Ananias told the truth, none of this would have happened. You are right. And and if Sapphira told the truth, none of that would have happened. That's true. So so we had to be honest. Yeah, you know, my mom always taught me honesty is the best policy. What does that mean? Well, whenever you think, oh, I don't know what I should do. Should I lie? Maybe I'll make it better. No, it doesn't make it better, does it? No, if you just tell the truth and you say, look, I'm sorry. I did this and you hope that the person can forgive you. Oh, is that better? I tell you, you guys all know that I make mistakes, right? Oh yeah, you make mistakes all the time. And you always say when you make a mistake to please forgive you. And you know what? We as kids forgive you all the time. Okay, okay. I do make a lot of mistakes, you're right. All the time. Did you know I had to forgive you yesterday? You had to forgive me yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, you forgot to get me my 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 candy at the store. You said you were gonna get me some. Oh, you're right. I didn't even remember that I said that. Yeah. You did that a lot. I, I do. You're right. And I, and I But you didn't even tell me that, that I needed to get it and then I forgot it. No, I just forgave you. Aw. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cause I know you didn't mean to do it, and and it's okay. Aw, thank you. It's all right. I forgive you. Thank you. So, so we have to learn the not to lie and just tell the truth. And if the person's mad at you, then that's just what they have to be. And maybe they'll forgive you later. Yeah, you're right. So, you know, Peter could have said. 
said, hey, you didn't do this. And he could have said, you're right. You're right, I'm wrong. I need to go back and get the money. Yeah, I bet you God wouldn't have killed him then. Because God is a forgiving God. You're right, he is a forgiving God. Yeah. Wow. What? This is a hard story to learn. Yeah, it is a hard lesson to learn in the Bible. Yeah. Good luck, JV. Bye. <laughs>